Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's show, sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga, Top Shine Detailing. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, New Hampshire votes today. Trump is going to wipe Nikki Haley clean, and then it's going to be really interesting. Nikki Haley claims she's going to fight all the way to the end. That's what Ron DeSantis said the day before he dropped out. It's going to be really interesting whether or not Trump is, or Nikki Haley is going to want to get humiliated next week in South Carolina, her home state. I don't know if she does or not. It'll be interesting. But just like when Ron DeSantis drops out, when Nikki Haley drops out, I'll be forgiven. We all come together, hold hands and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> Good old politics. All right. The January 6th committee deleted 100 encrypted files. How is this not obstruction? Spoilation of evidence. On and on and on. They all ought to be charged with crimes. Why would they delete this stuff? Why? You know why they delete it? It would show not only the ruse that they did, but also the things that they said relative to Trump and their mission. All right, Epstein's airplane apparently flew to Columbus to and from 250 times. Yeah, Wexner. Sounds like Columbus was, uh, along with the island, was uh, Grand Station Central. They must have been trying to recruit a bunch of Buckeye girls. Ohio State University, maybe. All right, the two Navy SEALs have been named who lost their lives. One fell off get, trying to get on a ship. The other one jumped in to try to save him. They're Chris Chambers, 37, and Nathan Ingram, 27. Sad, sad, sad. God bless them and their families. The Supreme Court voted 5-4 to four with Roberts and Amy Comer voting with the libs, allowing why they're going to decide the case to let the Homeland Security folks cut the razor wire the Texans put up. So absurd. So absurd. Fannie Willis, the divorce, the name's, name's Mark Evan, the special prosecutor, the divorce file's been unsealed. And guess what? Depot's going to be taken. You know what Fannie Willis said? She's too busy to be deposed. She's too busy to deal with this. It's not looking good. She's crashing and burning, and she deserves to crash and burn. South Carolina Representative Nancy Mace has endorsed Donald Trump. Thomas Massey, you know you forget stuff, and you go back and find it. Thomas Massey blamed everything on January 6th on Donald Trump. I'm going to retire this moron. He deserves to be retired. Anti-MAGA anti-border wall, never has defended Donald Trump one single day with all these indictments. I'm coming for you, Thomas. Remember, he's from a group called Demole, where they groom little boys who call them dad. Sicko stuff. All right, Wall Street. You know, I got out of the market four years ago thinking I was smart, saying there ain't no way this thing's going to go. It's now at 38,000, a new record. Never hit there before. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It doesn't make sense. Wall Street's a bunch of bootless, scurvy clock dishes. I had to throw that Shakespeare in there somewhere, Jamie. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.